Hey, good morning, Pete, North Las Vegas. Um, had a recent commenter wondering if it might be possible for me to do a comparison between an original Bushmaster uh, Wyndham main and a Wyndham weaponry. So I just happen to have an original uh, Bushmaster that I bought back in the uh, mid '90s. So, so yeah, I can do a comparison. Um, I won't be able to do a, a complete comparison because my old carbine has a Colt conversion upper on it. And my Wyndham weaponry is 100% Wyndham weaponry. But we can compare the lowers. Okay, so like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I purchased this lower in the mid-90s. And that's an aluminum buttstock, three position tube, and back then, this is what you used. Um, castle nuts were not a thing yet. So back then, we didn't worry about staking. I imagine you could stake this somehow if you wanted to, but back then, nobody did. And this has been screwed together for since about 95 and it's never come loose, even though it's not staked. Okay, I figure we'll start at the back here. This is the Wyndham weaponry. And you can see the, the left over there where they didn't, didn't bother to smooth that out completely. And there's the old Bushmaster. So that's quite a bit different. Somebody banged up my rifle back there. I wonder who did that. Okay, so on the Wyndham, this area in here um, is different than the, uh, the original Bushmaster. You can see where uh, they machined it quite a bit differently. Okay, so Bushmaster and Wyndham. Okay, so the markings and the roll stamps are, they're more precise on the Wyndham, but they're not as deep, and I would say not as crisp um, compared to the old Bushmaster. Like I said, the Bushmaster is not quite as precise, but they're deeper and more pronounced. And I actually kind of like the Bushmaster stamping better myself. It just stands out better. These look to me like probably laser. And these were actually stamped. Okay, so on your safe fire selector, you'll see on the Wyndham, on the bottom here for the, uh, the selector stops, it's raised like they didn't machine that smooth. It's kind of sticking out a little bit. We're on the Bushmaster. Um, they machined them a little bit smoother. Okay, so we're looking at the Wyndham again, and this is the bolt catch. Um, you can see where this isn't quite symmetrical. This side here is a little bit thicker than this side's a little bit narrower. You can also see the, uh, the serration cuts uh, versus the, uh, the old Bushmaster where they got these more even. And I like these better. They're just more pronounced. And uh, let's see if there's any small amount of movement. Okay, so the Wyndham's a little bit tighter even though they got the machining goofed up a little bit. So there's a little bit more play back and forth on, on the Bushmaster. Okay, so on the Wyndham, the, uh, the trigger area is nice and smooth on both ends. So they, they got that machine pretty nice, whereas on the Bushmaster, um, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. I think I got a good angle there. You can see there's a a little bit of leftover on the casting on 
a little bit of a casting ridge inside there and that's the same uh, behind the trigger also okay so mag catch this sits flatter it's like they uh it still looks like a press fit they just machined it a little bit flatter where the uh bushmaster is a little bit more pronounced almost has like a point on it now on the bushmaster area here this is machined slightly different um this edge seems to come out a little bit more on the Bushmaster than on the Wyndham. And it looks like it's maybe a little uh, a little better tolerance fit in there, just not as much gap. Okay, so this is the Wyndham again. And you can see on this area here, they left it a little bit raised for your, uh, your takedown spring and detent area. And on the old Bushmaster, that got machined all nice and smooth and just radiuses right into the, the rest of the lower. And then once again, we have uh, what appears to me to be laser cut. And these are stamped. And like I said, I know this isn't as precise as the laser cut, but I don't know. I just, something about it I just like better. You can also see that the selector didn't quite get finished really smooth here. Whereas on the Wyndham, that got machined very smooth. Okay, so the Wyndham uh, mag release button looks, looks pretty nice. Very nicely done. And here's the, uh, the old Bushmaster. And you can see that the uh, this first ring, sorry about the camera work. You can see that this first ring in here is kind of a little bit rounded or flattened. Whereas on the Wyndham, it's, it's, um, it's a little sharper. Okay, so for the right side of the rifle, I don't really see anything else that's significantly different. So we'll take a look at the front outside and then we'll take a look at the bottom and then we'll split these rifles in half and uh, see if there's anything different inside. Okay, so quite a bit of difference between the Wyndham, uh, this cut area in here and where they machined it on the bottom of the Magwell, uh, quite a bit different than the original Bushmaster. This machined area here is quite a bit taller and they kind of seemingly maybe radiused it more a little bit in here, but you can see that they didn't quite get this area completely smoothed out. Okay, so this is the Wyndham weaponry on the top and the Bushmaster on the bottom. Now the Bushmaster to me looks much better machined in the Magwell area. Uh, one of the areas that jumped out at me was right here. And I'll stick a light down here so you can see better. But if you look at this machined area here, and then you look at this uh, machined area here on, on the Wyndham, it's like, man, it got kinda, kinda goofy in there. All right, we're gonna have to give uh, gonna have to give the Magwell to Bushmaster on that one. All right, so here's another look at that area on the Wyndham with a little bit of light. Yeah, I like the Magwell on the Bushmaster, the old Bushmaster, way better. Just a much more precise, cleaner cut, in my opinion. Okay, so on the Wyndham Weaponry, you can see where they kind of ran the threads, like all the way into the radius here. And on the, um, 
the old Bushmaster, they kind of did a little machining in there and kind of cleaned up that that last thread coming into the, the receiver. So I'm going to say that uh, Bushmaster did a little better job there than uh, Wyndham did. Okay, so both of these are AR-15 cut. They're not full M16 cut. And you can see the shelf down there that's almost lined up with the top of the uh, selector hole, which makes this a high shelf on the Wyndham. And looks like we pretty much did the same thing on the old Bushmaster. Okay, so just looking at the receivers, um, my eyes were kind of telling me that the Bushmaster was thicker and it comes in right at 100 thou. And if I come over here and measure the, uh, the Wyndham, you can see that it's, it's under 100 thou. So um, my eyes were correct. At least in this area, the Bushmaster receiver is quite a bit thicker than the Wyndham. Okay, so we're looking at the Wyndham uh, bolt catch, and you can see like a parting line in there where I'm pretty sure this is a uh, cast. Might even be MIM, I don't know. But it's got a rougher appearance, so it's definitely cast. Now, if you look over here at the uh, Bushmaster, a much smoother, almost like it was machined out of uh, a regular piece of steel rather than cast, but I do see a parting line up here on the uh, the thumb tab so I don't know I, I think probably cast too they just did a better job of uh, cleaning it up and smoothing it out um, the other thing on the Wyndham is this area here on the top of the uh, the mag wheel top of the receiver is thinner than the Bushmaster the Bushmaster is thicker up here also so I think overall the, the Bushmaster has thicker dimensions as far as anywhere I can see. Okay, so I'm not a, a trigger hammer uh, markings expert, so I'm not sure what, what the P means. I'm going to assume that WW maybe means Wyndham weaponry, but it might not. All right, we'll take one last look. Okay, so cosmetically, overall, the Wyndham weaponry is machined a little bit better, uh, just on how it looks. Um, which receiver do I actually think is better? I'm gonna have to say that the Bushmaster seems to be machined uh, a little bit thicker and stronger and uh, maybe a little bit more robust than the newer uh, Wyndham weaponry. All right, Pete, North Las Vegas, over and out.